the moments that really touched me were your moments with your father on his um, deathbed. Mm-hmm. Like that chapter, that whole chapter was beautiful. What I love about your memoir is there's this action, there's craziness, there's, you know, like almost chaos. <laughs> and then there's calm. Mm. And in the middle of all of that, there's you. And it, it feels very clear that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken you all around the world mm. <laughs> to bring you to him. And that's how, that's how I read your memoir. Mm. Uh, but that moment with you and your father, I felt like it was like a culmination of... That was a gift, I have to say. That was one of the... Uh, Allah has given so many great gifts and and you can't count them. Just the fact I'm breathing here today and healthy and uh, no major diseases, uh, you know, thank you, Allah, thank you, shukr Allah, um, is, a, is a miracle in many ways. But when my dad and I hadn't spoken for two years before that... Exactly. So in that context, that 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 meeting that last and to be, and to get and to get beautiful. a call and say come and see him and say goodbye oh, on his deathbed and um you know my, my ex-husband saying saying beautifully may Allah bless him for this you're only there for one reason you're only there for one reason don't make it about the past don't don't make it a, you know don't make it like oh it's lovely to see you one reason Tawhi, just that's it you, Allah's given you this it's a gift and and to sit and hold my dad's hand and you know, to recite Al-Fatiha and for him to say that so beautiful and you're full of light and for him oh. to feel that, you know, an Irish, you know, a man of Irish Catholic descent who'd, who, who, who'd expressed, you know, real suspicion and, and nervousness about what he thought Islam was, you know, the set of rules, this domination of women, all of these ideas. And to when it came down to it, for me to hold his hand and recite Surah Fatiha and just say, how many gods are there, Dad? And he looked at me and he said, oh, come on, there's only, there's no God but God. <laughs> SubhanAllah. La ilaha illallah. And then what about the prophets, you know, Sol- Solomon and Adam, they're all prophets. And Jesus said, listen, kid, Jesus was a prophet. We know that. He's not God. <laughs> and well, you say, thank you, Allah. Inshallah. And then to have a dream of, after he died of him being bathed by three imams in a big palace was such a gift and, and alhamdulillah and just to be there and to give him that love and and to really I you know in my culture in the in the English heritage culture we don't talk about death the bit the big unknown the big unspoken you know we, we talk about oh we'll have a big wake afterwards and we'll have a big party and we'll all drink to your mate we'll drink to your memory we'll get drunk and remember you it's like what even is that and then you know the moment of death being oh let's play music so you can remember me mu- what no I said to my dad, and it was the hardest thing I've had to say, I'm here because I love you and I'm here because you're leaving. He said, am I? I said, yeah, let's talk about God. That's what we should be doing. 